we will now introduce the famous Pythagorean identity. Famous being a relative term, I suppose. And identity is an equality that's always true. So an example of a not very interesting identity, one equals three minus two. That is always true. It's not something that you would solve in spite of having an equal sign here. It's just a statement of a fact. The Pythagorean identity is more interesting. It says that the cosine of a number squared plus the sine of that same number squared always equals one. Why would that be true? And why do we call it the Pythagorean identity? Pythagoras never studied trigonometry. The ancient Greeks in general didn't study trigonometry. It's called the Pythagorean identity because it comes from the Pythagorean theorem. Let's let that be a unit circle. And X be this angle. And because it's the unit circle, this radius has length one. This point here is the cosine of x comma the sine of x. So if we drop down a line segment like that and create the right triangle like so, this horizontal distance is the same as this horizontal distance. It's the cosine of x. And this vertical distance is the sine of x. And the Pythagorean identity then comes immediately from the Pythagorean theorem. Let's rewrite the Pythagorean identity and also take this opportunity to introduce a bit of new notation. Instead of writing the cosine of x raised to some power like that, we write the cosine and then we put the power between the cos and the x. That's a standard notation. And similarly, instead of writing that for the sine, 
be your right to this. So that's restate the Pythagorean identity using our more standard notation. The cosine squared X plus the sine squared X equals one. 